Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserake, the Totally Sturgy series. Let us continue on from the last death off. So, Mustafa Kamil is dead. Ismet Pasha is now currently in charge of the uh, the country. In a power struggle for Kamal's succession. Rumors spread quickly about Kamal Pasha's left a will for one of his collaborators. Although many party members claim that Kamal personally chose Ismet Pasha's successor, some also argue that Kamal was a progressive man and that his last wish was to restore democracy upon his death in order to stabilize the country. Salah Biara and Ruf Pasha are among those who demand the organization of eternal election to the party. Ismet remains uh, strangely silent during the extraordinary session, only defended by Kamal's closest friends. It appears that this endless debate over Kamal's will will now divide the party, uh, which was the only source of stability after the Ghazi's death. This instability and infighting led to some people believing that there could be an opportunity for the opposition to strike once again. Again, we don't have any of the traditionalist uh, modifiers quite yet. But we'll probably keep Ismet Pasha for now. A coup attempt by General Fetran Pasha. But that's not you. It's you. Okay. You became you wait what you you proclaim yourself sultan? A coup attempt by General Fetran Pasha. In the afternoon, the party leadership received disturbing news. The imperial palace has been taken over, and the Osman family taken hostage in the wake of a political coup attempt. The Plars also swiftly took control of the Ministry of War, making prisoners of some of the OHF pol uh, politicians present there. The person responsible for, uh, is said to be General Fetran Fekra Pasha, the defender of Medina. The old general is known for his attachment to Islam, religious values, and traditions, and is said to be under surveillance by the Kemalist agents for his discontent with the new government. In any case, with the capture of the symbolic power entity in, uh, in the high command, all that is left for him to do is take the party headquarters in order to capture the government for his coup to be successful. However, a large part of the garrison reigns loyalty to the OHF, and the soldier did not yet recognize the general's government. Ismet Pasha seems to have been present, uh, presented a window of opportunity, and he's determined to end the illegitimate rule of the general prematurely. Surely most soldier and government officials present in the capital would support him if he were to center the counter coup against Ventran Pasha. He has to act quickly, however, or the general will take control of the party headquarters before the day is at an end. So I'm going to save here just in case. Yeah, so this is... Yeah, so this is revealing the will. What does this actually do? I'm curious. We're going to go back. Um, I just want to see what... Uh, so you're the provisional government. So you're like a whole different focus tree. Huh. The new Sultan. A joint invade Armenia. Okay, well... That's cool and all that, but th this is not happening. So let's go back to 39. And of course, I mean, you know, Ishmael Pasha is going to remain in power because we kind of need to, we need to have this in order to not, you know, in order to go totalist. So we don't really have much of an option or much of a choice. Nationalized Ottoman banks. Absolutely. Isn't it Pasha reveals Kamel's will to the public. After regaining power the, and gaining the full confidence of the Kemalist party, Ismat took to the podium. Known for his infrequent speeches and his deafness that have, uh, allows him to ignore the arguments of his opponents, the Fesha is also known for his military and political career in the shadow of the Ghazi. Termin and dress in his uh, frock coat, Ismat announced that he was a pro uh, processor of Kemal's will. He hastened to read out the part reserved for the purpose and announced uh, that the rest will be known only to the garment. In his will, Kamel named Ejma as his humble successor. He also expressed his sadness at the idea of dying without having been able to complete his ideas. Ideas that he kept for many years in his diary until the day when Turkey would finally be ready. He wrote about his progressive ambitions, the importance of Turkish identity, and above all, the creation of a real national sovereignty. He also asked the people to trust his successor and the friend for the continuation of his thought. Oh, you just bypass automatically. Okay, fantastic. But in order for us to do this, we need to make sure we do. We, okay, we don't have national collapse, but we need to not have remains of decentralization, which is going to be one of you. Remains of decent. Where where is that in here? Recovering remains of decentralization. Probably it has to do with uh, centralizing the uh, the country. Yeah, because we can't do any of these until we have uh, dealt with that. Oh, so we can't eventually go to war with Greece. 
Um, we can go to war with probably the entirety of the Middle East. And, and we'll have actually the backing of the International for that as well. So that could be fun. Uh, follow this up. What do I want to go for? We have 36 uh, aircraft already. You know, give me 39 engineering core. And for this, we need these two. We wasted, you know what? We've only wasted 10 days. Okay, we wasted now 11. But you know what? Let's go straight into here. Because that gets 10 days done automatically. It's like technically we did waste one day of... Um, of, fo of, uh, why are these even called? Like, what's wrong with me? Uh, we, we've lost one, uh, national focus day, but that's not a big deal. Yes, yeah, so we need you, and then we'll get eliminate the resistance, and then we'll go with centralized Anatolian Viliot, which I'm assuming will allow me then to do the economic revolution straight down to nationalization dilemma, classless society, and get all this stuff down here going and become uh, totalist. I mean, right now they're the Pax of Common Party, but that will change uh, with you. Yeah, Totalist Party will now be known as the Turkish People's Party Kadris Branch. Totalist will join our coalition. Uh, become the leader of Totalist Party. Factory up with 5%. Totalist of National Populism support goes up. I don't know if there's a way to go for. Actually, we can go just... We can join the International through this. Huh. Really? That, that. National, uh, national Populism and Totalism support goes up. Uh, we'll then go for Eliminate the Resistance. Like, let's see. What, what even is this? Class of Society. The Crowdist Party took power. So, actually, do you make the Totalist the, the power? Completed focus will allow us to push strong economic reforms. However, the consequences are uncertain. The question of our economic inclination has long been discussed, and Kemal did not elaborate on the subject. An important part of the party thinks that if Ghazi wanted the establishment of a democratic republic based on European principles, Bulgaria declared war on Serbia, you know, they, they can do whatever they want, then this republic would have to accept to remain in the liberal economic mode. Or a minority ring of the OH party called the Cadro believes it necessary to nationalize most of the economy for the nation's safety. You can dissolve Western influence. Which gets rid of the liberal support supporters of the OHF, I guess. This focus uh, will be completed in case the Cadro movement comes to power. The Cadro's party's in power during the nationalization issue. I mean, I guess we can just read these a little bit later. Let, let's just let's read those when we actually get there. Because the, these are the more interesting parts for our uh, our situation. The Kurdish independent settlement, a majority of what has now been cons uh, would now be considered Kurdistan, has been controlled by us for about 400 years. Nevertheless, we have managed to centralize the Kurdish territories because the Kurds don't see themselves as part of the Ottoman Empire, pledging allegiance to their tribal chiefs instead. Despite our best efforts, we were unable to integrate them into the rest of our country, and have still uh, haven't managed to suppress their will to fight their for their independence. Because of this, there have been numerous Kurdish revolts before and during the Vilkrieg, which all have been beaten down by our military might. They fear our soldiers and their cruelty was the only thing keeping the Kurds at bay, most of the time, that is. Our defeat of desert war and the, cat and the catastrophic state of our military in the right, uh, is in right now gave the Kurds new hope. Slowly but surely, the Kurdish chiefs are beginning to settle their differences, allowing them to focus on their common enemy, the Ottoman Empire. Considering our monetary weakness, a Kurdish revolt could be disastrous. We'll have to react one way or another before the Kurds see their time to strike and unite under one banner against us. Okay, so you're now a demilitarized zone, which means my unit's going to get kicked out immediately. Did you not? Oh, I guess actually, yeah, you were led by the, the person trying to lead a coup, so I guess it makes sense that, uh... Why is there only four divisions here? You should all be, like, you're not going to be able to get here, so don't worry about that too much. In the inauguration of the, re of the memorial. Okay, um... Uh... Rezet was a famous and renowned officer of the Ottoman army and even during the, earned the respect of Mosul Kamal himself for his victories during the Vilk Creek. He has been a loyal defender of Turkey and her people and stayed true to Kamel and his cause even after the Ghazi's untimely death. Sadly, his loyalty was rewarded with a bullet to the chest, delivered by the man of General... Oh, he got shot by the, uh, by the, uh, the man of the general. He tried to stage a coup right after Kamela died. Uh, Kiglipi... Definitely not saying that, right? He was president of the capital at the time. He was one of the first officers to organize resistance and tried to free the Southern Porte from Fetrin and his followers. 
Even though he was outnumbered and outgunned, he fought bravely until the end, side by side with his fellow soldiers. This game is meant of time to muster an army that could defeat the defectors and thus essentially save the Ottoman Empire. Uh, to ensure that the sacrifice would not be forgotten, Emir the Fourth has ordered the construction of a memorial dedicated to Reset and his brave soldiers. Today is finally time for the memorial to be inaugurated after a patriotic and emotional speech about the horrorism that Sigletip uh, proved today. And made the fourth in the crowd present the ceremony held a moment of silence to commemorate the sacrifice of these brave soldiers. Thank you for five political power. Okay, Kurdish situation, Anatolia. Can I do literally any of these things? We're at peace with you. Free sentiment. Why, why can I not take any of these options? Uh, has reached a value of 100. Keep it below 100. I don't even see a number where it's at. Maybe because they're at zero. It's not showing a number here quite, quite yet. Also, Bulgaria is going to get their fucking ass handed to them. Okay, we've eliminated the resistance. Let's centralize the Villiers. Which actually, we're probably going to use a lot of political power. So for now, we're just going to kind of bank what we have. Greece is social democratic. I don't know really where that places them. I think they'll... Will they, will they still join Russia? I think so. But I'm not 100%. Okay, I mean, Bulgaria is still with Sofia. They're about to get defeated literally everywhere else but Sofia. Fala Batvia. Because Greece actually isn't in the... Uh, they're not in the faction here. Okay, advanced machine tool's been done. Let's go construction three. Okay, res okay, no, we don't have research slot. We're missing close air support. Well. Well, wait, what makes you not close air support? For one, I'm going to change your uh, picture here. Is it because you have the wrong... Yeah, you small bomb. Wait, what's wrong with this? Your role is fighter, technically. Save as new. If I give you like this, now you're close to air support. But I can't save you as new. Okay, so go basic airframe. We'll give you some close air support weapons. Give you like both of those, I think. Sound sounds good. Dive breaks. No, 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 no. Let's give you raid uh, radio. And no, I don't want to switch. I just want to build these in addition. Yeah, so give me two of you. And I'm pretty happy with that position right now. Oh, HIF resistance. Okay, so there's even more stuff now that we got to deal with. Eliminate resistance here. Remove decentralized control. So I'm guessing if I get rid of all of these. I mean, we still need you as well. Okay, well, let's remove them in three separate areas for now. Okay, artillery upgrade. Happy to have it. 41? Yeah, uh, 41 is a little bit too expensive. Go for a 1940 uh, weapon here. National Republic of Ukraine, you got National Populist. What are these borders? See, this is this is one issue that with uh, by blood alone. Like, I don't know. Kaiserreich still hasn't actually figured this stuff out yet. What what's the yeah, Mark Mark all states. Transfer all that to uh, Serbia, please. And I'm, I'm guessing they should release... Yeah, there you go. You release Bulgaria. Yeah, a lovely little estate there. Japan's clear war on the Philippines. So we now have centralization. Is that a completely... Okay, now we've got traditionalist resistance. It's at 0% right now. Uh, let us suspend the assembly. And you each need 50. And uh, Noble gets Kemalist control, recruit population, construction speed. Do we need to get all of these done to actually get rid of you?
It, I mean, it, it, it says in the little, uh, the little blurb here that it does specifically mention liberal government. So I'm going to take the assumption that if we get rid of the HIF... You know, give me military, please. That could be useful. If we get rid of the HIF, then we should be... Good. In order to... Get rid of decentralization. Or not being, de not being decentralized. Decentralist control. If we get all of those removed... Then we should be happy... Okay, Triple Otani is joining Internationale. Basically, that means you're just going to get invaded by National France when the war actually breaks out. Okay, next, let's go for... To be honest, I don't know if it actually really makes a difference in which order you go in. I mean, I guess going for the highest population and then going down to the lowest population would be the best. Also, Egypt and... Nigeria is now declared independence. So Nigeria, the Wadi Emirate, or the or Wadi Empire. You know what I think would actually make sense? Uh, let's go politics tool. Shift R, Shift R. I think it makes sense that in this situation they both join the Cairo Pact right away. There we go. Because Egypt otherwise wouldn't actually be able to actually send troops into the French Republic. Okay, we suspended the assembly. Let's nationalize Ottoman banks, this time for real. This time, we're actually going to do it. So, can I do anything about the Kurdish yet? Yes. Okay, right now, it's at 60. Let's send in 1,000 guns and 500 manpower. And I think with the situation, kind of... I mean, we had a little bit of a coup attempt, but... This time, uh, we, we've stabilized the country a little bit. But I think for now, it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, put a thumbs up. Not doing close thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.